so let's get it this is my predictions for the royal rumble 2024 it's in a couple of hours from now so firstly uh, i want to say a couple of things first there's only four matches on the card so far this match right here logan paul versus go for the united states championship the four way for the um, undisputed championship and then the men's and the women's royal rumble I would have liked to see more matches announced for the card, but I do like the fact that they haven't announced all the Rumble or like 20 out of the 30 Rumble Rumble contestants. They just announced like 6 to 10 from the males and 6 to 10 from the females, which is perfect because it deletes more surprises. Let's start with this match right here. Logan Paul, KO, United States Championship. Logan Paul hasn't defended in something like 82 or 83 days, something like that. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Um, I don't think he's going to lose it. I would love to see KO, KO win it. As you guys probably know, KO is one of my favorites. But they made Logan Paul champion for a reason. It's for the crossover appeal, mainstream appeal, all of that. So I don't think he's dropping the title yet. Next, we've got the Fatal 4-Way match. We've got the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, Mr. Part-Time. We've got AJ Styles, LA Knight, and Randy Orton. This one is by far the easiest to predict. There is no way I would bet everything I have that Roman Reigns is retaining. He's either facing, we'll get to a couple of guys, he's main eventing WrestleMania. It's not going to be any one of these guys. I would love to see Randy Orton get another title. AJ Styles would also be great. I don't think Alan Knight is quite there yet. He's more of a United States champion guy. I think he's the right guy to maybe at Mania take it from Logan Paul. But I don't see Roman Reigns losing this match anytime soon. Next, let's talk about the Women's Royal Rumble. So the Women's Royal Rumble, there's, in my opinion, three main contenders. Let's call them contenders. So it's Bailey, Becky Lynch. Okay, let's make it four. Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair. She's always a contender. And then also Jade Cargill. I will not be surprised if Jade Cargill makes a surprise entrance at number 30 and possibly win it. But who I would like to see win it is, I would like to see Bailey win it. She's been teasing that she's going to take Rhea Ripley at Mania and Damage Control is going to be both champions. But I think if she wins it, she turns face and goes up against EO Sky. What do you guys think? And then lastly, let's talk about the Men's Royal Rumble. The Men's Royal Rumble, my absolute dream would be if number 30 hits and we hear Wild Thing and John Moxley comes out, he clears house, he goes up against Roman Reigns at mania but that's never happening that's just absolute fantasy booking there's only a couple of guys who could win it cody rhodes if cody rhodes wins it he's the one of only four people to win back to back that's hogan michaels and stone cold and then him punk is another clear favorite gunther is right up there in the running and then we cannot write off the rock who comes in at 30 and wins the championship or wins the rumble but the problem with rock winning the rumble is we know who the who will retain at mania the rock's not going to win the championship against roman I don't think Roman need Roman Rock needs a championship. I do think Cody possibly could win the Rumble and he could challenge Reigns at night one. And in night two, it could be just a tribal warfare match, Roman versus The Rock, if The Rock, of course, is available. CM Punk is obviously also a favorite. But again, he's feud with Seth. They don't really need the Rumble win. I do think Seth would like to win it, but I do think it's going to be Cody. And then we cannot write off Gunther. He's also definitely a contestant for this one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Peace.